What is up YouTube? It's Pure for Kicks and today what we're going to do um, is we're going to make some spawning mops for the Killifish project. I um, was actually over at the Fish Hub, that's a local LFS here in Salt Lake City and I I go there a lot and uh, the owner Peter there gave me a lot of grief. Uh, I told him how much the Rick Covey Killifish are spawning together so he's like man you, you need to get a spawning mannequin mop in there man you're slacking so Peter, this one's for you. I'm going to go ahead and make some spawning mops, and in the meantime, I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. So if you guys do this project on your own, you'll know how to make these mops real quick and what materials you'll need to make them. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is just some foam or a floatable device, something that's going to keep the mop on top of the water because it's got to stay on top of the water, and then the... Um, you know the yarn just kind of hangs down and drains down like a, kind of like a plant or a lily vines or something like that that they go into and spawn and the eggs that get trapped in there so I just found this in my fluval box you can find this in any electronics that you got and what you need to do is just cut yourself out a little square or a circle whatever you want to do that you can wrap around the yarn um, onto the square now what I'm going to fasten it with is I got some cable ties these are just some really small cable ties these are little black ones I picked these up for a dollar for a hundred ties and the yarn I picked up at Walmart on the way home for two dollars and I found this for free so it was total uh, a total of you know about three dollars and that includes these but I use these for electronics so um, I would say two dollars because I don't have yarn um, so let's get on to this what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna hold on in my hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it around my elbow um, just like you would wind up like a rope or something. And you're going to do that a lot. Just do that um, till it's pretty thick because you're going to, you know, each one of those will be hanging down in your tank. So just keep on doing that. Okay, so that should be enough. Um, you know, I got a decent amount on one side and you know, you got both of them that are going to be hanging down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in and I'm going to cut it up here. I want to cut it where this one's already hanging out. So I have all my cut ends over here on this side. So let me cut this. Okay, and now you want to take this end of your back and just hold on to it. Okay, so you got that. Now you're going to want to cut that very bottom piece too as well. So leave that open. And the two pieces that are hanging down, you can see, you can trim those too so everything's even. So you just cut those. And then put your scissors right in the middle. And cut again, pretty simple. Um, there, and now you got some hair, some spawn and mop, and I got green because I thought it'd be more natural. Okay, so now that you got that, um, what you're gonna want to do is take your little foam piece and put it right in the middle. So I'm gonna put this spawning mop right around it. Make sure it's like, uh, you know, towards the middle. You don't want it falling off or anything like that. So once you got it towards the middle, you can pull it tight. And you can see it kind of creases. So what I do is I just spin it around a few times. And then I always do this by myself, so it's kind of hard. So what you're going to want to do is twist, take your twist tie. And what I do is I put the top part up. And I just put it underneath my my finger so I can still hold the mop and I can put this end in. So now here's the tricky part. I put this end through, but then I gotta grab that end piece with my tooth. <laughs> So 
See? Now you can let go. And bam. You got yourself a floating spawning mob. Now, all you have to do is cut this little piece. And you're done. Now, see, the reason why I do it long and I put it all the way over my arm is so, you know, you can make it as long as you want and then you can just trim it, you know. All you have to do is grab it like this and cut it. So it's pretty easy to trim it however you want to on your length. And, you know, yarn's pretty cheap, so it's not like you're going to lose much. So, yeah, there's the spawning mop. And you can just put that, floating that in the tank. And, um, yeah, I'll show you exactly how it looks like in the killifish tank right now. All right, we're downstairs at the killifish tank. And as you can see, the spawning mop is a floating. Um, just chills up in the very top. And the, the yarn just drapes down and they kind of go in there and do their thing. As you can see, it floats with the little uh, sponge. And I believe this drapes down just a little bit more as it soaks in as well. Make sure that when you're introducing your spun, you know, the yarn for the first time, that you grab it with your hand, you know, and, and squeeze all the air out of it, or it's not going to sink at all. It'll just float right at the top. But, uh, yeah, put that in the tank, and what they're going to do is they'll find that up there, and that's what they'll spawn in. And then I can just take it out, pull off the eggs, put them in peat moss, and bundle them up for a while. And then that's how people sell them. So we'll uh, go to that next. Look, she's going to find that right now. Yep. Yeah, you guys go play in that. So yeah. That's how to make your uh, spawning mop for your killifish. Beer for kicks. I'm out. Yeah. I'm ready.